Our weekly segment, TikTok, where we take a closer look at the story behind the sensation. Have you ever wondered what you should do if you encounter a deadly animal, whether to run, hide, or just weep in sorrow? Environmental scientist and animal activist Mamadou Jai has the answers that you are looking for. Mamadou has racked up more than 14 million followers and nearly 800 million likes on TikTok for his distinctive takes on animal biology and behavior. Let's take a look. I went to Rutgers in New Jersey and majored in environmental science. Yes, my major had almost nothing to do with animals. I'm not really sure where the whole animal thing came from, but you remember zoo books? I had like 40 of these. As a kid, I was into spiders, snakes, and sharks, but for some reason, the only animal I was afraid of were pigeons, and I really can't tell you why. Still afraid of pigeons, Mamadou? I have a healthy respect for them. <laughs> so great to have you with us tonight. Thank you for joining us. You're certainly well known for making videos about animal facts, focusing on why certain animals can be dangerous. What prompted you to research animals that could kill you? Uh, I, there was always an interest as a kid. I really couldn't tell you where it came from, but uh, I was always interested in the more unknown facts of nature. It's probably the ones, you, the facts that you wouldn't necessarily see in a documentary, just um, I like being able to see the entire picture and it's not always pretty. It can be pretty brutal, but uh, uh, there's always been an interest even when I was a kid. And throughout your research, there was an animal that on the surface looked terrifying, but in reality was was the complete opposite. Uh, probably the shoebill stork. It's a, a really weird uh, answer, but if you Google it, you'll understand. It looks like a dinosaur that time forgot about it. Its eyes, it looks like they are soulless. And I always had an aversion towards birds when I was really little. So seeing that kind of freaked me out. But they're actually pretty harmless. They're like a favorite for bird watchers in Africa. They're really tolerant of people and uh, not dangerous at all. So you also have a series where you debunk myths about animals. And we're going to play a quick game here with you where you address some of the common myths and set the record straight for all of us. Let's talk about dolphins first. A lot of people think dolphins are these sweet, cuddly creatures, and uh, they use that to juxtapose sharks, which are obviously violently killing machines, or at least that's what the media has told us for so long. They regularly bully sharks. They bully basically anything in the ocean that they can. And uh, yeah, they're not good. They're not evil. They're just dolphins, and they are very complex creatures. All right. How about penguins? Oh, wow. I'm not sure what I can say about penguins that I'm allowed to say on TV, but, uh, man, uh, the whole uh, cute and cuddly aspect of them, they can have um, some very interesting mating practices, especially Adelie penguins in Antarctica. They're the really feisty ones. Um, they're the ones known for kind of, like, being really... Uh, Man, they have some really uh, perverse uh, mating practices. Uh, there was actually a biologist that studied them, a while back and uh what he discovered was so vile and disgusting that they actually took his studies <laughs> refused to publish it and we didn't he they didn't make it uh available to the public until about a hundred years later and that's because everything he learned about them was just nothing you'd expect from a bird like that all right now i'm gonna have to look it up you've piqued my interest all right lastly camels camels uh Again, healthy fear of camels. There's, they are, they are basically built to survive any type of like harsh climate. Um, they're seven feet tall. They can weigh uh, thousands of pounds. They have sharp um, toenails that can obviously uh, withstand the hot, shifting desert sands. But it can also like break your ribs if it kicks you. Mm. They have, for a herbivore, they have really sharp canine teeth to be able to ha handle a. Uh, thorny shrubs and rough plants. But if, if one bites you, that's a part of you you're not getting back. Good descriptions there for all of us. It sounds like you have a healthy respect and, and fear of, of all things in the animal kingdom. But you've also written a book about the deadliest animals on earth called 100 Animals That Can Effing End You. You list some pretty alarming facts about animals that can outrun the average human. Tell us which animals are on the list. Uh, hippos, that's one that surprises a lot of people. They look like these, uh, first of all, hippos aren't fat. They, they have a very uh, thin subcutaneous layer, but it's solid muscle underneath all of that. Uh, as fast as you think you are, there any hippo can outrun you. They can reach speeds of uh, uh, over 30 miles per hour. Uh, and that's like in land, in water, they can catch you when they want to. A motivated hippo is one of the scariest things on earth. Lastly, what do you hope that readers take away from your book? Oh, that uh, that, so they, that they can understand the uh, full picture of nature. I mean, there's uh, obviously it can be romanticized, 
a lot where you think that there's uh, always this happy ending, but it really is. And nature can be like brutal. It can be incredibly harsh, but it can also be very beautiful. And uh, there's just, it's very complex. You have all these species that have learned how to like survive with each other over the course of millions of years. Uh, it's very interesting. And uh, obviously they've also adapted ways to, ways to defend themselves ways that uh, can probably end your ways. We certainly appreciate you, Mamadou. Thank you so much for joining our series TikTok this week. Mamadou's book, 100 Animals That Can Expletive End You, is now available as of July 5th. You can get it online. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.